The way you describe a property on your listing makes all the difference when you're positioning it in the mind of buyers. Ultimately, you're not selling a home, you're selling a lifestyle. This is Danny Antello, and this is my weekly DN Vice. I love when I'm browsing through listing pictures and I see an image of a kitchen with a description at the bottom that says, kitchen. No shit, Sherlock. A picture of the bathroom that says, wait for it, bathroom. Bravo, agent, you nailed it. As a listing agent, I always want to keep my descriptions concise, but packed with enough content to entice curiosity. My ultimate goal is to help the new buyer feel something when they're reading my description. If you're a parent, could you imagine your children fighting over breakfast pancakes in your oversized quartz island that fits your entire family at the same time? I like to connect descriptive features to the benefits. For example, instead of saying backyard, I would say something along the lines of enjoy a sunset barbecue with your friends and family in this open green space wide enough for a pergola or even a pool. I know it sounds a little bit corny, but which one sounds better to you? I personally tried to avoid generic terms such as spacious or pretty as these don't really add anything. I also tried to avoid remarks such as price to sell as this is just a red flag of seller desperation. And finally, let's sell the location. I often include images of nearby spots so that out-of-towners or people who don't know the area well can have a point of reference to nearby restaurants, commercial spots, and parks. After all, the home is just a container of their life. My favorite painter, Magritte, is a surrealist painter that drew a pipe and said, this is not a pipe. The same applies to property descriptions. A kitchen is not a kitchen. A bathroom is not a bathroom. I encourage you to see beyond that. This is Danny Antello, and stay tuned for more weekly advices. Your weekly advice.